Rope pumps are, are very simple devices. They were first developed over a thousand years ago in China when devices like this were used. But what it is, if you can imagine, it's a simple wheel. And when you turn the wheel, it runs a rope. And the rope runs down and goes into the well. And it, there are little gaskets made from filed down plastic PVC caps that flow down into the water. And then in the water is a tube and water naturally goes up into the tube and these small caps seal the bottom of the tube and then they simply push the water up and as much as you turn that's how much water you push up so it's a very very simple device and the amazing part is that it's all made from local materials if there is a way to purify the water and I am asked to pay for it I will pay for it in order to keep my children healthy from drinking clean water So what we do is we sell a rope pump system. We'll dig the well, we'll install the pump, we'll test the water quality, and the entire cost of that is about 240 US dollars. And what we do is to empower villagers, we sell it to them at $10 a month for two years. And sometimes that means a single family has enough money and they put a well at their house. That also might mean that 10 families group together and they select the site and they put a well in. Maybe even 20 families. You have to cooperate with neighbors to form a group who can then afford the well. It is hard to pay $10 per month for the rope pump, but I will try my best to pay for it in order to get clean water to keep my children healthy. I understand that to pay $10 per month is proper, but I don't have any money. My husband and children are sick, they don't have income. Why doesn't an organization give a well to us for free? A lot of people would ask, why does an organization who basically whose role is to give and help communities, why do you make them pay for it? The reason we make villagers pay for it is if you pay for something, you have a sense of ownership. You maintain it. It belongs to you. We find that organizations who simply give wells away, when they break, villagers will wait for them to come back and repair it. I think we know from our own history, or from my own history, that when something is given, it has little value. When you earn something, it means something to you. So we want these rope pumps to mean something for villagers and villagers to use them for a long time. I use my neighbors well every day. Sometimes they allow me to pump, but sometimes they don't allow me to pump. This well water is not so good, but we still use it because we have no choice. It makes a lot of rust in our big jars. The other important thing about this type of development is when a donor or when someone supports the cost of one well, in 10 years that's five wells. So in a sense we're empowering villagers to help themselves and then through that they're empowering us to help other villagers to help themselves. So in a sense when you give one time to this project you invest one time over years that multiplies itself and it continues to help more and more people. And I think that's really important uh, aspect of this project. Thank you.